Hello and welcome. So in this tutorial, we want to look at how to remove an existing WordPress website from your HostGator account. Essentially, we want to look at how to erase that website so that you can put a new version up. So if you're interested, let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is go to my HostGator account. So I'm going to go to HostGator and then I'm going to log in. I'm going to go to the sign in button and go to portal. It has remembered some of my credentials, so I'll hit log in. And then once I'm in my HostGator account, I'm going to click the hosting package where I want to adjust the website. And I'll click manage. Now there's a couple of ways to do this. Uh, the first way that I like to do is go to cPanel. And first what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the site the domain of the site that we want to erase, just so that you can see that it does currently exist and that we're not doing any funny business. So this is the site, the domain splativity.com, which we want to delete. Say that we wanted to make another site or another template and we didn't want to sort of have to work with what we have, but we wanted to work with a blank canvas. In order to do that, we'd go back to our cPanel and then you can click Soft Delicious App Installer. Or you can search for Soft Delicious by hitting Command F on Mac, or I believe it's Control F on certain versions of Windows. And then we're gonna start typing soft, uh, soft, uh, it's hard to spell. And then you can click on any of the icons which have that name. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to the installations section. And you can see which versions of different domains that we have set up. I'm going to click on the one that I want to remove here. But rather than click on the domain, I'm actually just going to click on this little X. So I'm going to click at this X icon. It's going to load this page. It's going to give you a series of choices. You want to remove the directory, the database, and the database users. In our case, we want to remove all of them. So we can just scroll down and hit remove installation. You're going to get a prompt which asks you to confirm. We're going to choose to hit OK. And then it should take a few minutes or a few seconds to, to load and remove all of the data that is currently here on your domain, in our case, Splativity.com. Next, you should get a confirmation that says it was either successfully or unsuccess unsuccessfully removed. So I'm going to go to return to overview. And I'm going to try to go back to my cPanel by going here. Next, I'm going to go to the domain. I'm going to duplicate this tab, meaning that when we refresh it, you should get a message like this. Now, it's a little bit odd. So sometimes what you have to do is you have to go back into your cPanel, and then you can go either to your FTP, so your file transfer protocol, or you can go to File Manager. I'm going to click on File Manager. And once you're in your File Manager, your site structure might look a little bit different than ours here but you're gonna to wanna to scroll down to something that's called public HTML. Now, what can happen when you use the Soft Delicious app installer to uninstall your version of WordPress? There may still be a file called this HT access file. And what you wanna do in your file manager is go in and right click, and then you're gonna go down to delete. And it's gonna give you this somewhat frightening message or it can be frightening that, are you sure you wanna do this? We're gonna hit confirm, we do. Our directory is empty. So now when we go back to this page and we refresh, we will be able to go ahead and install a new version of WordPress, which we'll do in the next video. So in summary, what we wanted to do is we first logged into HostGator, then we went to our cPanel. Once we were in cPanel, we went to Soft Delicious App Installer. Once we were in the Soft Delicious App Installer, we clicked the installations and chose the domain that we wanted to do. We chose Plativity.com, but you could go ahead and do this with any of your domains. So you hit this little X. You arrive at a page that looks something like this. We left all the checkbox checked and then we hit remove installation. We're not going to do this for survivalsummer.com, but we did for Splativity. Then we reloaded the page, got something like this. We went to our cPanel. Then to file manager, we scroll down to the public HTML directory. There was an HD access file, we deleted that, and then it was empty like this. Then you're all set, ready to install a new version of WordPress and then build a new site. 
If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the section comment section below. Otherwise, what we're gonna do in the next video is we're going to install a new version of WordPress and then go ahead and back up or use a backup of our one of our old versions of our site so that we can get it up and running. As always, thanks for your time and we'll see you again soon. Cheers.